Athlete Next Sex for Women. Today I'm going to show you five of my favorite exercises that combine targeting your core and your upper body. They're going to be tough, but they're good. Here we go. Hey you guys, so probably one of my favorite things to do when I think about working out, number one, saving time. <laughs> But number two, I'm very core centric, so I try to think about always involving my core when I'm doing other exercises, whether it's upper body or my legs or anything. So these are probably five of my favorite exercises that I rotate in, usually um, maybe once a week. Okay, so this is gonna be hitting shoulders and back and chest and triceps. It's really gonna be kind of hitting everything in our upper body. But the good thing is we're going to be using a lot of our core with a lot of these exercises. Some of these are going to be tougher than others. So maybe some, you may only be able to do 10. If you can do 10, that's great. Some of them push to do maybe 15. Um, take maybe a 10, 15 second break, go for round two and round three. All right, first exercise. All you need is a slider or a paper plate or uh, maybe even a towel, something on a slick surface. We're going to go into a glider single leg pike. So right off the bat, we're going to be going right into a really good exercise. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to start in a plank position. Flat back, you're going to stack your foot on top of your other foot. You're going to pike up as high as you can. You're going to go back to a flat back. You're going to go into a push up. And we're going to pike back up, flat back, into a push-up. So this is one where you may not be able to get all 15 reps, or maybe you can. Really think about getting a good pike all the way down in that push-up. So for the second and third round, just think about switching your feet off. Or if you want to do six and six for 15, or six and six for 12, or however you want to do it. Really good, it's just a little bit different way of doing those. Okay, box bar push up to overhead press. Another one of my new favorite exercises because it really hits everything. So I just have a barbell here with use however much weight you want to use. I, I just usually use a moderate box that allows me to get a little bit of a squat in. And then we're going to go right up into an overhead press. All right, so you're just going to grab the bar, shoulder width apart. We're going to start in a plank position. We're going to go into a push-up. We're going to jump our feet into a squat. We're going to protect our back by staying low. We're going to grab that bar. And we're going to press it up and overhead. Back down to start. Kick our feet out. Push-up. Low squat. Pressing the bar up and back down. Press up, back down. Make sure you're getting a full rep by popping your head out the top. All right, whoo, really good. Nice little core work, back shoulder. That's just like an all-encompassing move, love it. All right, bare row to inverted press. Okay, so with this one, I usually use a little bit heavier weight. So for the bare row, what that is gonna look like is my feet are about shoulder width apart. My shoulders are over my wrists. My back is totally flat. And I'm just gonna row row. I'm going to straighten my legs up. I'm going to lower down and press up. And then I'm going to go back to my back flat, flat back. Row, row, straighten up, lower down and press through those shoulders. This is not an easy exercise. Up, lower, Press and always keeping that flat back here. Whew. 
So the core is doing a lot of work, shoulders are doing a ton of work, and we're getting a good back workout. Another really good all-encompassing workout. Okay, next we're gonna go into side plank Travolta. So this is great for obliques. So we're gonna get into a side plank up on our hands. You can stack your feet, or you, if you need more stabilization, you can put them here, stack. And this is just all about keeping the weight as close to your body as possible, keeping your hips straight, you're not rotating down to make it a little tougher. Sometimes I raise my leg, but this is really hitting the backs of my shoulders, my chest. All right, so 12 to 15 reps. When you're done, obviously we rotate to the other side. Another really good one. All right, last one. Seated curls with a dumbbell kick out. So these, you're just going to have your heavier dumbbells for your curls. I usually put a five or 10 pound dumbbell between my feet here. So what this is gonna look like is you're gonna sit back. You're gonna lay all the way back. You're gonna sit up. You're gonna go into a curl. You're gonna place them back on the ground and then you're gonna do two kickouts. We're gonna curl. We're always placing the weights back on the ground. Then we go into two kick out. So we're always having to lift them off the ground. So that's what makes it a little bit tougher. And we're going to kick out. So we're really working those lower abs with this one. Kicking out. This weight's a little tricky. So curl, grab your weight to two kick outs. <laughs> a weight with a wider base is usually good too. <laughs> And then at the end, sometimes, after I finish my 15 curls, I'll just kind of burn my abs out by finishing, by doing like 20 to 25 kickouts. Whew. So we've really hit everything here, you guys. We've hit shoulders, back, biceps, triceps. We've kind of hit it all along with really strengthening our core, which is really key to doing any kind of exercise in the gym. Um, it's really making sure we have a strong core. It's not just always here. Make sure you're getting the obliques and doing a lot of planking and stuff for the for your backside because that's all encompassing. All right, thanks for joining me, you guys. Five exercises, three rounds, push it. I know some of these are tough. Watch your form with a lot of these. That's the critical piece so you don't get hurt. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook. They're always posting some really good stuff on there. Lots of great exercises and workouts. Um, hey, hit the like button, subscribe, leave us comments, and I'll see you guys soon.